And one of the reasons proponents of the bill say that they support the measures is a decision made at the school in eastern Iowa last year. The Lynn Mara School District in Lynn County approved a policy change that would allow a student's gender identity to remain private, including withholding that information from their parents. Republican State Representative Wheeler says that's what pushed forward both of these bills. A Democrat on the House Education Committee says communities should control their school district policy, not the state. I don't feel in state government that we should be going after one segment of our population like this. I really don't. I feel, you know, things are hard enough for them. They don't choose this by any means. And um, we should let them deal with it in the ways they need to deal with it and not zero in on them. The two bills were both introduced in the Iowa Senate yesterday.